YouTubers, another unboxing video. It's the weekend and uh, we're going to be doing a few of these. Um, now most of my stuff is actually showing up on Saturday, um, which is surprising. It's not already here, but... Alright, this should be a motherboard. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And then we can talk about it once I get it open. So, um, I think this was actually a eBay buy. And you can see though it shipped in the Amazon Prime. Um, which is interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so we're gonna have to get this box out of here. Alright, got that out of the way. So a couple things to note right off the bat. Uh one Z370. So Z370 means overclocking capability, all right? And normally that means, uh, let's see, i3 8350K, i5 9600K, i7 8700K, and the i99, i9 9900K, all right? However, in this case, it looks like it's already optimized for Intel 9000 processors. So good possibility straight out the box that this will work with uh, 9th gen chips. Now, uh, previous to this, you may have seen my uh, unboxing for um, a couple of different 9th gen chips that I have. Um, I actually got a couple more, but what we have here in front of us. the So I'm going to plug probably the, uh, the i3 in there, since I haven't put that on a motherboard. I'm going to plug that in on this guy. So uh, keep an eye out for that video. Should be rather exciting. I know I'm excited. Um, get excited about my gen and benchmarking and a bunch of other stuff that we will do. So this uh, this is uh, I don't know if this is exactly the newest Intel chip that's out, but uh, there's an i3. 9100 and the 9100F. So I have the 9100F, which means that I need a uh, graphics card. And of course, the way this thing is sealed is going to cause me some pain. All right, I might have chopped off half of it. Okay, so in the box, um, obviously the motherboard. Let's see what else is in here before we talk about the motherboard. Okay, good. Everything that you would expect. A heat shield. Um, pretty nice looking heat shield. It actually has color to it, not just a uh, gray one. But we'll talk about the inputs and all that on the motherboard. A couple of SATA cables. Put those aside uh, for now. A uh, the CD-ROM. That uh, these are very important, folks. Uh, the reason I say that is when you're first starting off, some of the drivers on here are going to help get you started. A lot of times the drivers for Ethernet are on there. And uh, without those, you will be uh, unable to get everything else updated and running good, uh, as well as some of your drivers that may be missing. Now, if I remember correctly, um, I do so many different uh, installations. Uh, MSI usually has some pretty good uh, installations. Uh, not necessarily this little handout here, but uh, the, the book that I'm going to have. Um, but it uh, should be easy enough to follow through. And uh, we'll talk about some of the stuff. But uh, this is, folks uh, that are new, this is where you have the most difficulty with installation, to be honest with you. Um, as far as if you don't do this right, you'd be like, what's wrong? RAM, you got to make sure you get the right RAM. Then you got to make sure you seat the RAM right. Otherwise, uh, you won't get anything. got to be careful with your CPUs. Um, a lot of people have a tendency to destroy the pins on those. And... But yeah, overall, this is a nice little quick installation, okay? Quick keyword. All right. 
Now this is, this is a good book, folks. Not everybody does this. Um, this book will be really helpful. So uh, we'll thumb through that real quick so you can take a look at it. But this is uh, the way to go. This will uh, actually talk you about overclocking. And sadly, though, I'm not, uh, this chip that I'm putting in will not allow for overclocking. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, folks. So, all right. So that's about the excitement of what's in the box. Let's look at the actual motherboard itself. Um, or should we look at the box? Let's look at the box first. Let's see if there's anything exciting in the on the back. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, all, all stuff we'll point out. And I'm going to take this out of the... I'm going to take the motherboard out of the bag. So this, this actually was an open box, okay? Got a hell of a deal on it. You know these Z370 motherboards were really expensive when they come out. And this one, um, supposedly, has never been used. It, the box was open, but never been used. And it actually does not look like it's been used. So that's a good sign. Luckily, it's summertime, folks, and static electricity is uh, almost minor nowadays. But, uh, all right. So, we're... Uh, we're going to actually, I think, switch cameras at this point. Hopefully I remember this in editing. And uh, we use the good 4K camera. So we got two 4K cameras going. Um, but this one, 4K cameras are not always uh, built the same. All right. So we have our uh, PCI Express 3.0 slots. Uh, additional one there. Obviously, we're going to put our graphics card in there. I'm not going to run any kind of dual setup. A lot of people ask about the SATAs. So, we've got two here. Okay. And uh, you can see on the other side, which I'm going to move the camera, there's a set of two here and a set of there. So, three SATA 3 connectors, or excuse me, six total SATA 3 connectors. All right, and I need, I actually need a light here, folks, because um, it's going to be hard to see everything on here without some more light. Now, this product here is really handy. This is a, a tripod that I got, and uh, I'll put the link down below it, but if you're doing product videos... This thing's really helpful. Okay. So, um, we have some of the other, the smaller PCI Express slots that I never use, um, which is unfortunate. I probably need to start using those. Now, I could have sworn this thing said it had two M2 SSD uh, spots. So, obviously one here, okay. And uh, I don't see the second one. So, unless I'm missing it, this one only has one. Um, obviously, the CPU goes there, okay? And uh, normally supports uh, HN, night gen. Uh, four of your DDR4 RAM slots. So, that's good. Here is your 24-pin, uh, um, which is going to be uh, supply power from your power supply to the motherboard. Here is the connection over here. Um, this should be the USBs to the case there. Um, but this this is a nice motherboard. Unfortunately though, it's hard to uh, read exactly what's what. Um, should be at least a couple of system fans on here. And if I took a break for a moment and looked at the manual, we could probably uh, figure out a few more things. So the CPU is here. This should be your CPU fan. 
and then over there one two maybe two additional system fans I am surprised though that I only see one only one M2 on there so either the box is lying and this is uh this is full ATX folks I uh I've built a lot of micro ATX computers and uh I definitely tell you the ATX is so much better to work with um stuff is uh me it's just easier cuz the case the case is bigger it's easier to get down in there. All right, so we'll do some more uh, flyovers. And hopefully I'll uh, put some text over some things as I I notice things. But uh, hopefully we're going to edit some of this out. Now, we do need to go in and look at the uh, what's on the, what there is for inputs. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to take a second and uh, move this over. So, Turbo M2. And I, I failed to mention the uh, the steel armor on there. Um, let's see. Here's what else is on the back. Raid. Da, 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 da. Eight USB 3.0s, six USB 2.0s. Okay, so um, let's see. This is obviously CPU socket 1151 with the Intel Z370. So yeah, one only one, not two, which surprises me. Um, now. Here we go. So you can see you've got the old um, what is that PS2 style connector for keyboards and mice, USB 2.0s, VGA DVI dual, dual port, and this one does not have. A, um, I don't see HDMI. That's disappointing. Ethernet and these red ones must be 3.0s. And then a host of uh, stuff for audio, mics, recording, speakers, things like that. But all right, folks, that's uh, that's about it. Um, we're going to start assembling this. We'll make another video showing it assembled. And uh, check back. Thanks for checking out this video. Please like, please subscribe.